Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be using my cake spinner turntable and I'm working on a 12 by 12 canvas and I am using the bottle bottom. Um, I don't, it takes me a while sometimes to get one if I've thrown it away because I don't buy a lot or any really soda. We don't drink soda. Um, occasional root to beer or in this case if I have a stomach ache I will drink a, um, a ginger ale so that's what this is a bottom of a ginger ale bottle all right so as you can see I am putting the paint down now all of these paints are mixed a little bit differently than I normally um, mix my paints I usually use my regular pouring medium with these today I am using Floetrol and water only um, I just thought because I had been doing the bloom technique I would use some of these paints up that have um, Floetrol in them only all right so I will put all of the um, colors and brands in the description I don't remember them all right off hand so um, if you're curious they will all be in the description all right so my intention here is to try to see if I can get some cool cells or lacing like um, because these are all like mixed like you would use in the bloom technique um, this one here is actually um, I had used for a cell activator and in my um, this white here and I've had kind of good luck with the um, cell activator and actually I think I left out it's normally I had used the um, wood uh, conditioner but I didn't this time so I think that's uh, what I'm doing here is just uh, testing this one all right so I'm gonna slowly take that off and I decided to add a little bit of white around just because I didn't think I had added enough and sometimes when you use a spinner you don't think you use enough and then when you start to spin with the force um, of spinning you, you overdo it um, but with the white it'll help slide it a little bit nicer for me so this white again is the cell activator uh, so I, I thought I would add a little in the middle and then use my a mini leaf blower that I love to use sometimes I think it's a little um, too much um, but I sometimes I just can't um, you know if there's a lot of uh, where the paint needs to be moved around I prefer to use this instead of um, a straw or you know just my mouth and plus I'm always afraid my hair will get in it too so I'm using my leaf blower and it's working my mini leaf blower um, I don't suggest you use a full-size leaf blower unless you had a huge canvas which might be fun um, and quite a bit messy uh, all right so you can see that I've got some some nice cells and a little bit of lacing there it's uh, looking pretty good and I do have some air bubbles so of course I'm gonna pop those um, some of them are a little stubborn so I gotta keep going and go over it a couple times because sometimes the heat from the heat gun will at least draw them out the air bubbles and then once you go over with the second pass then it pops them all right so I'm gonna do a little adding here um, just a little bit more of the cell activator that area looked a little bare to me so just go ahead and add a little bit um, and you can see that it's working a little bit there these colors are really really fun and bright I'm hoping that they uh, you know stay nice and bright all right so now it is going to be time to spin I'm making sure that it's level on here I actually forgot to uh, level it so uh, that's why you can tell that it's kind of going to one side but you know the spinning will get it evened out a little bit more so we're just gonna kind of wing it here <laughs> and see what happens and voila that looks amazing, balls I love how this is looking uh, colors are just amazing I am so happy with how that turned out you guys can see some of the wet photos here look at those colors I got some cells and lacing it turned out super super cool I am just hoping crossing my fingers that it dries just as nice 
Um, so I guess we're gonna take a look and find out here with the dried results. All right, look at that. It looks amazing. I love it, love it, love it. I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. Go ahead and leave me a comment below. I do always read and answer if you have any questions as well. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and if there's someone you think that may enjoy it, go ahead and share it with them. Also, don't forget, I have more awesome videos for you to check out, so click the link on the left, and I'll catch you in my next video.